What's going on there, my friend? My name is Ricky Burrows, and I am so glad and fortunate that you are here and that you're watching this video. In this episode, we are going to talk about God's answers for anxiety. Now, if you see me over to the side, I'm actually, I have the PDF blown up and I'm reading it off off, uh, off of my other screen right over here. So if you, you see me looking, that's what I'm doing. I'm just reading it off so I can give you the best valuable information so I can help you. And what I want to read to you is the 12 principles of being renewed. You, ha you can have a renewed mind. You can have a totally renewed mind. And it is written in Ephesians to have, be ye renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that is actually God's will. People wondering, what's God's will for my life? You know, what is what does God actually want from me? And he wants you to be renewed. And if, you, and if people challenge that, then, you know, they're living a life of self-destruction. So let's, let's focus in on the first principle for being uh, renewed. God's answers for anxiety. It says, I must never allow myself to doubt the love of God. I must never allow myself to doubt the love of God. Now, the circumstances that are happening to you is not a... Everybody looks at it like, you know, this is the reason why God doesn't love me because all these bad things are happening to me. Let's hold on. Let's take a step back and let's just say, did we put ourselves into that situation? Did we put ourselves in a situation where bad things would happen, whether we know it was going to happen, and then it just happened to us. Some people, yes, and there are some people, no. They were raised in, in a, they were raised from birth in a scary uh, childhood. They were they were raised in a place where fear was inside the home, and it's a terrible, terrible thing. That is not the will of God. That is not God. God does not demonstrate is you know god is peaceful he does not live in anger he can't anger is the number one enemy of anxiety and that's one of these principles well let's go back into it let's read this let's read the principle again and then let's read the scripture it says i must never allow myself to doubt the love of god first peter 5 chapter 5 verse 7 Casting, and I'm reading all these from the King James, by the way, if you're, if you're curious. Casting all of your care upon him. For he cares for you. It's just that simple. He cares for you. You have limiting beliefs. And those beliefs must begin to change right here, right now. And say, well, how can I know that God actually cares for me? It's really simple. It's really, really easy to believe. Is that he cared enough for you to send his son, the only perfect human being, and he destroyed his son. He sent his son so that he would be destroyed in place, physically destroyed, emotionally destroyed, and he was just he he became the the punishment for our sin. Now that's powerful stuff. And that actually is the most powerful information that a man, a woman could ever hear in this life. So you must, you must believe the gospel if you are to know the love of God. And the love of God is simply Jesus Christ in exchange for your sin. God traded your sin. He says, okay, let's make a trade. I'll trade my son for your sin. And how, you, 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 do you know anybody else in this world who would do that? Who would just go up to somebody who would be like, let's just say like, here's a perfect example. If, you know, a righteous person in this world were to go up to someone who was doing really bad things, and I know, and you know what I'm talking about. If somebody were to do these really bad things, and they said, I'll trade your your sin for for my son wow that's 
that will change a person's life. That will change a person's perspective on whether or not that person actually cares. Now, a righteous person would barely do that because, you know, nobody's going to trade their son, their joy, their, their, nobody's going to trade that for someone who's going down the wrong path, believing that they might convert, whatever. But God is wise, and God is actually too smart to make a, a bad decision. God is too intelligent to make a mistake. The man who I got these uh, these principles from, that's where that statement came from. And uh, he's a great pastor up in upstate New York, and um, I still read I still read his material, and he ministers to me every day. So these principles are are definitely going to get you closer to God. You must never allow yourself to doubt that God loves you. Never. You must never ever ever allow yourself. Here in this channel, in God, God's and common sense, you must begin to understand that Jesus was sent into the earth, that he proclaimed the good news that he was here to take the full wrath of God, so you would not have to be charged for your sin. That's the love of God. And if you need help uh, with that, read the Bible. Go ahead and read the Gospel of John. Read the beginning of John, and then go right into Romans, and then go right into the next part, uh, chapters of books. After that, I'm like going. I can't talk. I'm tired, you know. But I feel like I should just make this video because I believe it's just going to help you. All right. So that is principle number one. Number uno for uh, twelve principles of being renewed. God's answers for anxiety. If you like this, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and be sure to stay tuned for all 12 of these principles. Thank you and take care.